This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Let me introduce you to the sickness that is Georgia Clark. Georgia Clark is, or was, a school teacher in the Fort Worth, Texas Independent School District. Georgia Clark is a symptom of a disease. That disease is Donald Trump. If you're not familiar with Georgia Clark, let me get you caught up. You see, not only is she a Trump-style stupid, she is also what we've unfortunately all come too familiar with, a Trump-style bigot. And up until Tuesday, she was an English teacher at Carter Riverside High School in Fort Worth, and had been since 1998. You see, between May 17th and May 22nd, Georgia Clark took to her now-deleted Twitter account and tweeted what she thought were private messages directly to the President of the United States of America, Donald Trump. Because you know how if you want to contact the leader of the most powerful country on the earth, you just at mention him on social media. So that explains the dumbness angle. Now let's talk about her bigotry. Um, I'll just let her own words speak for themselves. This educator of children tweeted, quote, Donald Trump, I do not know what to do. Anything you can do to remove the illegals from Fort Worth would be greatly appreciated. My phone number is 817-862-7923 and my cell is 817-781-4814. Georgia Clark is my real name. Thank you. Donald Trump, I need protection from recrimination should I report it to the authorities, but I do not know where to turn. I contacted the Texas Education Agency and then my teacher organization. Texas will not protect whistleblowers. The Mexicans refuse to honor our flag. Mr. President, I ask for assistance in reporting illegal immigrants in the Fort Worth Independent School District public school system And what I received was an alarming tweet from someone identifying himself as one of your assistants, followed by a second tweet from the same person with the F word used in the dot com. I promptly deleted both tweets and sent a message to Twitter about it. I really do need a contact here in Fort Worth who should be actively investigating and removing the illegals that are in the public school system. Thank you, she says. So... This woman was trying to marshal the full weight and authority of the United States government against her own students, ostensibly to have them deported for reasons including that they didn't honor our flag. Ugh. Some people are garbage. Vile, filthy garbage. Well, whether Georgia Trash Clark knows it or not, in 1982, the Supreme Court, in a case called Plyer v. Doe, ruled a 1975 Texas law unconstitutional, which denied public education funds for being used to educate the children of undocumented immigrants. The Supreme Court ruled it unconstitutional, saying that while they are not citizens of the United States, undocumented immigrants and their children are people, quote, in any ordinary sense of the term, unquote, and therefore are afforded 14th Amendment rights of equal protection under the law. And that further, schools cannot ask students about their immigration status or report them or their families to federal immigration authorities in an attempt to discourage them from enrolling in school. Well, on Tuesday, the school board agreed, and at a meeting, at which not a single person spoke in her defense, eight members of the school board unanimously voted to terminate Georgia Clark's contract, forcing her bigotry and hate to be funded by some other means than via Texas taxpayers. Afterward, the Fort Worth Independent School District Superintendent Kent Scribner said, quote, Fort Worth serves 86,000 students, and it is our goal that we treat each one with dignity and respect. And based on the information that we have, we think this is the most reasonable recommendation at this time. And yes, this is a good thing. Congratulations, Texas. You've one fewer monster interacting with your children. If she wanted to work for Border Patrol or ICE, she shouldn't have signed a contract to be a public school teacher. She shouldn't have taken on the mantle of educator. 
Because being an educator of children is a sacred calling. We should hold all these people in the education field in high esteem. We should think of them and hold them to the same high standards as healers in the medical profession. They are nurturers and protectors of children, not federal immigration informants. She violated the trust of every student at Carter Riverside High School in an attempt to not only break the law, but also to terrorize many of them and their families who are already vulnerable and at risk. Georgia Clark, you should be ashamed of yourself.